Hello guys, this is Siddharthan. If you are new here, this channel is all about machine learning and artificial intelligence stuff. In the previous video, we have discussed what is meant by machine learning and what are the different types of machine learning that includes supervised learning, unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning. In this video, I will explain you what is meant by supervised learning and what are the different types of supervised learning. Okay, so this is the agenda for today's video and uh, I want this channel to be more interactive. So from now on, I will give a link for each video in the description and in that link you will find a google form containing mcqs for that particular topic for example so in the description of this video you will find a google form link that contains mcq on the topic supervised learning okay so once you uh, complete watching these videos you can try to answer those mcqs okay so let's get started supervised learning so supervised learning is a type of machine learning in which the machine learning algorithm learns from the labeled data set okay so here the most important thing to note here is the algorithm learns from the labeled data okay so what is this labeled data so in machine learning generally we feed the machine learning algorithm a lot of data and we tell the algorithm that that this data represents this label okay and the algorithm tries to map the labels and the data so that it can recognize it okay let's try to understand this more deeply with an example so we want our machine learning model to see an image and recognize whether it represents an apple or a mango okay so this is the task for a machine learning algorithm so in the case of supervised learning what we will do is we will feed the images of apples and mangoes and we will tell the machines that these images represents apples and these images represents mangoes okay and we feed these images to our ml model and what it does it, it tries to find the relationship between these images and it maps it to the label which is apples and mangoes okay now it knows uh, you know how an apple looks and how a mango looks okay so once it learned from the data when you give an unknown image it can predict cor correctly whether it is an apple or a mango so this is how supervised learning works so the important point to note here is we are training the machine learning model with data which is labeled okay so in case of unsupervised learning we don't give the machine learning algorithm the labels okay so that is the difference between supervised and unsupervised learning okay now let's discuss about the types of supervised learning there are two main types of supervised learning one is classification and another one is regression okay so what is meant by this classification and regression so classification is about predicting a class or discrete value okay so there is just these class or labels okay so there is not continuous values like numbers so it will predict whether you know the problem statement we have to predict whether it's a male or female true or false like that okay so there will only be classes and in regression we try to predict a continuous values for example like the salary age and price okay say for example um we need to predict salary of a person from his work experience okay so the salary will be in a continuous number right so those kinds of problem statements are done using regression models okay in classification we just predict it's you know whether true or false or male or female say for example the example we have seen before where our model classifies the images into apples or mangoes whereas in regression we find a particular number okay so let's try to understand this with another example so first of all classification so we want our machine learning model to see an image and recognize whether the image is you know a dog or cat so what we will do is we will give the labels and the data to our machine learning model so it maps with that label and the images now it can tell whether it is a dog or cat so this represents classification because we are just classifying the image into either dog or cat okay so there is no middle values right so there is not any decimal values here it is just binary in this case now let's discuss about an example for regression let's say that we need to predict the rainfall in centimeter value for a given temperature or pressure and different factors on which the rainfall depends okay so what we will do is we will train our machine learning model with this data like for example so we will tell the machine learning model that for this temperature there will be this much amount of rainfall and for uh, you know different cases like this and uh, when the model is learned from the data when we give a new temperature value it can tell you how much rainfall we can expect so the rainfall in centimeter will be a continuous value it can be a decimal value right so this is called as regression so in classification we try to uh, you know predict the class or type 
but in regression we try to predict or we try to find a number okay so that is the difference between classification and regression so there are various lot of different types of application on classification and regression so which we will see in our later videos in our project videos okay now let's see what are some most important algorithms for classification and regression Decision tree classification, random forest classification, k nearest neighbor classification. So these are some examples of classification algorithms and uh, regression model algorithms includes logistic regression, polynomial regression and support vector machine regression. So it's okay if you don't understand what is meant by these algorithms. So we will be working on each type of algorithms once we start doing the hands on part. So I'll be explaining about them in more detail once we start those videos. Okay, so that's it for this video. In the next video, let's discuss about what is unsupervised learning and what are its types as we did in this video. Okay, so that's it from my side. Do check out the Google Forms link in the description and try to answer those questions. So if you like the video, if you enjoy the video, do subscribe and stay tuned for future videos. Thanks for watching.